Hello, boys and girls in video land, and happy Valentine's Day. If you're watching live, it is February 14th. If you're watching the recording, that's fine too. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day, but it is Valentine's Day, which is why I wanted to pop on and do a few demos and share a few things. And today's presentation is called How to Fall in Love with Video. Again, maybe you were in love with video and now you're out of love with video. Maybe you never liked video to begin with, whatever the case. Um, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to jump right in and talk about <clears throat> how to fall in love with video. Let me go full screen here just to uh, share with you. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. We're talking video and most people do not like video. So to fall in love is asking a lot, I think, but we're going to take a look at it and um, show you anyway how video can be uh, lovable, I guess you'd call it. This is all brought to you by Fast Forward, my new video marketing mastermind, which I'll tell you about later on. And I'm Lou, as you know, that's Regina the Pug in an AI generated um, photo. We're going to talk a lot about AI today and artificial intelligence and chat GPT and video and how to make it much easier so that you will fall back in love with video. So why should you fall in love with video? Well, I was looking at some stats this morning. I just put this presentation together today, so it's pretty new. Oh, I hear Regina. Uh, who knows what she's up to? But basically, this is a um, very new statistic knowing showing which video marketing channels marketers prefer in 2023. And at the top of the list, you can see YouTube at 88%. Regina, you want to say hi to the people on screen here? All right, hold on. Come here, Regina. Let's say hi. What would a live video be without a guest appearance by Regina the Pug? Yeah, I know, Regina. I know. All right. So uh, there's Regina. We're going to put her down and let her go do her thing, whatever that may be. Um, hey, Karen. Hello. Glad you're here. Nice to see you. Um, so, okay. YouTube is at the top of the list with 88%. Hi, Vicky. We get to talk tomorrow. That's awesome. Uh, Regina, what are you up to here? It's really hard to do a live video with pugs at your feet, sniffing and doing weird things. What is she doing? Oh, she's eating paper. That's okay, I guess. Uh, LinkedIn video is up next with 68%. Then Instagram video, also 68%. Facebook video, 65%. Uh, TikTok is way down there at 33%, but still not too bad. Facebook Live, 26%. But this gives you a sense of how and where people are using video and really how much they're using video. So if we look at some of the reasons why marketers use video, and again, this is a brand new survey. I just posted this this morning. A reason for using video marketing, 87% say it helps to increase traffic. 82% say it helps to increase dwell time, which is time people spend on your channel or on your website or wherever you have a video. Um, 94%, I don't know why they didn't do this in, in uh, numerical order, but 94% say that it helps increase understanding of a product or service. Another 93% say it helps increase brand awareness. So there are a lot of compelling reasons to use video, to fall in love with video on this Valentine's Day and to use more video, um, not the least of which is helps generate good return on investment. Come on over here, Regina. She's getting tangled up in all my cords. Um, next up, we have here on our lovely little slides, uh, the reason to start using video marketing. So this is the share of first time marketers who say, the reason they started using video, and this may be for smaller businesses and, and corporate, but they say that videos are easy to create in-house. They've gotten so much easier. Regina, stop eating the paper. Oh my God, I should have locked her out. Um, it's easier to convince others in the business on the value of video. 
Uh, video was made necessary by new challenges like COVID-19. It's become quicker and less time consuming. That's really the thing that we're here to talk about today. Well, how video has become quicker and less time consuming and how you can simplify and streamline the process for creating more and better video. Regina, stop eating that. Come here. Come on. Come, on. Come over here. So this is the Regina and Lou show because this hug is causing a lot of trouble under there. Can't you behave while we're doing a live video? This is TV here. We have to take this more seriously. You can't just be running around all over the place. All right, please try to stay out of trouble, Regina. All right, I'm on pug duty, as you can tell. Okay, so here's a table showing the most popular types of video content. Um, music videos, I mean, obviously a lot of folks go to YouTube to watch funny videos or memes, but when you start to look at the business uses, they are tutorials and how-to videos, 30%, live streaming videos, educational videos, product reviews, etc. So again, a lot of compelling reasons to use video, not the least of which is it works. And where are people watching their videos? Well, the number one source where people are watching videos, oops, I skipped my slides ahead there, are smartphones. And number two is PC and laptops. Number three is tablets. So keep in mind that a lot of times when you're creating video, um, they're watching on a phone, a smartphone, an iPhone. Next up, we have a table showing why some marketers don't use video marketing and most people say and this is consistent with my anecdotal evidence lack of time and lack of knowledge about where to begin so that's what we're here to talk about partly today is how to make more time how to make it more simple how to know where to begin and uh i want to talk a little bit about sort of the how ai is making video easier so now more than ever, it's a great time to be using video for marketing. It's easier, it's quicker, and it has much more impact. Um, Regina, want to see the picture of the cat I have on the screen? So <clears throat> moving right along before we do our demo here, what I've found is that the combination of chat GPT plus Descript, which is a uh, software uh, editing program used to be mostly for podcasts, but now you can edit video on it. Um, this is where you can find the video love. If you start to combine these easy to use tools and very low cost tools like chat GPT and Descript, you can make video magic, even if you've never really made videos before. So what I want to do right now is show you um, some chat GPT stuff on how to generate video content ideas. Um, so what I'm going to do, I just sprung for the paid version of ChatGPT, which is $20 a month, but you don't necessarily have to have that one. So basically, if I put in a prompt to ChatGPT like this, I, I wrote, and, and this is all, everything is about the prompts in ChatGPT. The better the prompt, the better the request, the better the result will be. So... Um, if I put in, I said, write a slightly sarcastic script in the voice of Ricky Gervais for why business owners should use video marketing. Yes, Karen, I am recording this and I will make the recording available afterwards. So it gave me a little bit of a, a Ricky um, kind of a script. Hey there, business owners. It's me, Ricky Gervais. I'm not going to do the English accent. Now I know what you're thinking. Why should I bother with video marketing? I've got better things to do, like counting my money. Well, let me tell you, video marketing is the future. And if you're not doing it, you're basically saying, I don't care about reaching a wider audience or making more money. So again, you can see here, I'm going to go over to my chat GPT so I can see what's happening here. And um, where did it go? There it is. So you can see that you can get a fun response here um, if you say do it in the tone of Ricky Gervais. So I did another prompt to say write a video script in chatty style about the benefits of using video marketing. I find that it's it's um, if you give it a little bit of a voice, it'll be a little bit more conversational. So they talk about video is a great way to showcase your products or services. Video can help you build trust. So whatever prompts you put in, that's what ChatGPT will spit out. 
Now, if you put in here, list 10 reasons why business owners should use video marketing. And this can be anything within your niche. So if you're a realtor, um, list the top 10 reasons why people are looking to move or buy a home now, whatever it may be. So I asked it to put in why should business owners use video marketing and include statistics about, oops, am I showing my screen? Yes, okay. Include statistics. So this way, instead of just saying increased engagement, here's the one that I asked before statistics. Video is more engaging than text or images and can capture viewers' attentions for longer periods of time. But in this one, it added, in fact, videos get 1,200% more shares than text and images combined. So by putting the including statistics in here, I can back some of this up with uh, research here where it says uh, improved SEO, websites with videos are 53% more likely to show up on the first page of Google search results. So again, whatever you put in, that's what you're going to get out. And the cool thing about ChatGPT is it remembers your previous prompts so you can kind of build a whole conversation on it. So let's say that I wanted to do some YouTube shorts, and I know YouTube short is 60 seconds, and 60 seconds is about 150 words. So I say create a 150 word video script for YouTube shorts on the topic of video marketing. So it gives me the little 150 words that I can record as a video short, which is kind of cool. Um, hey there, it's time for another quick tip from the world of digital marketing. Today we're talking about video marketing and why it's so important for businesses of all sizes. So basically whatever you put in to a lovely little chat GPT, uh, chat GPT will spit out uh, little um, ideas for you. And again, I don't suggest that you copy and paste. This is really meant to, to get you going, to jumpstart your ideas, to provide some ideas and inspiration for what you can um, do with whatever your niche may be. So if you use ChatGPT for ideas, and in fact, I'm going to share my screen again here because I want to show you, um, not only can it list some ideas, but um, let me go to my stop screen sharing this and go back to this. Um, I'm going to share a Word document that I created after I copied and pasted. Um, so if I say to ChatGPT, create a storyboard for an About Me video for video marketing expert Lou Borton, create scenes for the About video. ChatGPT actually gave me an entire script and storyboard, including the scenes and the shots. So if I was going to shoot this video, it would have an opening, could have an opening shot of me sitting at my desk. I'm at a standing desk. So what do you know, ChatGPT? Uh, walking through a bustling city, sitting in front of a computer, talking about the power of video. So you can see here, it gives you the entire scenes, almost a storyboard for creating the video. And again, you can um, tell it to, to create a specific storyboard. Now create a video storyboard and script demonstrating how a real estate agent could talk about a new listing. So it spits out the example of a storyboard for a real estate agent demonstrating how they can talk about a new listing. Opening shot, aerial view of the new listings exterior, real estate agent standing in front of the property, scene two, close up shots of the property's key features. So you can see here again, you don't necessarily have to cut and paste this, but it's gonna give you some pretty detailed information and ideas about, oh, there goes Regina, about creating this video, including all the scenes that you need and everything. So now you've got the content, but then what happens? What do you do from there? Well, one of the things you can do from there is go to um, Descript. And Descript, I'll put the link up here, is a video editing software, a podcast editing software. It is a really cool tool and a really easy way to edit video because you actually edit the uh, text or you can edit the text rather than editing in a video timeline. So I'm going to pull up um, my other screen here that has Descript on it so I can show you. 
So basically, we've got a whole bunch of ideas now from um, chat GPT, and now we want to bring them into Descript and um, look to see how we can bring in that copy and edit it. So let me go back to my Descript software here. And hopefully you can see that now. Let me see. Yeah, you can see that. All right. In fact, I'll go full screen on that to make it even easier to see. How's that? Well, that's pretty much the same, isn't it? All right. So um, you can find Descript at lubortone.com forward slash D. Simple as that. So I'm going to go into Descript here, and I'm going to show you how um, when I write a script for my podcast like this, I bring it in here and I can see that um, this was not my original background. What I did here was I can change my background. I can, I can put in a green screen behind this background. So what I've done is this was my original background for my Godfather podcast. I went into Descript and I went over to Effects and clicked on green screen. And that's going to basically bring in whatever background you want. And I can change that background as well if I wanted to. So if I say um, green screen, I can take a different background because I can go up here to where the video backgrounds are. And all these, I just put in Valentine's and all these different backgrounds came up. So um, again, it's on a different layer here, so you can't quite see it, but if I pull it down like this, oops, you'll see that background, and there's the background, and now I go over to click on it and say, um, reset crop, and take out the, oh, what am I doing here? I have too many layers going on, that's the problem. So I can take this and put it down here, and again, I've deleted my background and added a different background here. Now, again, one of the other cool things about Descript is if I change something in the text, if I don't want something, um, I can cross it out or just delete it altogether like that, and it won't read it. So if I put, here's the, here's the script. Once the screen test were finished, Coppola sent the tapes to Evans in Los Angeles and Blueville in New York City. And the result was they hated them. In fact, Blueville was so pissed off that he was ready to fire the director. Instead, the execs got much more involved in the casting process, testing hundreds of actors at a cost of almost half a million dollars. At one point, of so you can see how it just skipped this entire lot, this entire paragraph because I had X'd it out. And I can undo that if I want. Um, now, here's the really cool thing. Okay, we'll get a, This is a different video. I um, created this email. I wrote this email and I pasted it into Descript, but I just, I wanted to have somebody, a voice, actually read it. So uh, with Descript, you can overdub voices and I can find a speaker. They've got all different speakers here see where it says new voice and I can oops I can have it read it in this voice so let's see if it works all those things are, oh that one didn't work ultimately video marketing is about increasing revenue for your business the bottom line is that video is about making more money so you're not vulnerable to the whims of the economy every video you make should direct so you can see I added Rocco's barking because he doesn't recognize the voice. I added this AI generated voice and created a voiceover with the script without even having to. Uh, I haven't done any video at all. All I've done is taken in the copy, added a voice, and I can also add scenes. So if I say every video should make money, I can go to my videos up here and look for something that says revenue, maybe, or money. And I can add a background video of money. So if I want to change that, or if I want to add a um, add something here, I can look at my scene here and pull my video in and say, yes, I want this money to show. So now it's going to say, 
every video you make should directly or indirectly generate revenue. So that's kind of cool, but it gets even cooler because you can add captions. So I go up here and I add captions. And now you can see. I'm not saying it's easy, but video marketing accelerates the sales process and is often the fastest path to cash. Right. So now I've got my voiceover lady, Ruth, who I didn't pay for because it's part of the script. Uh, I can change that voice if I want to uh, a man's voice, maybe. Let me see. Hang on, Marco. Let me change it to Dawn. Let's see if it worked. It may take a few minutes to, to process. Making revenue generating videos yeah, is one of the yet. central themes and the overall goal of my new fast forward map. All right. But anyway, all right, let's come back here. And we can see where we can add the captions. Every video you make should. Right. I can also add um, waveforms. So if I go up here to my video, where is waveforms? Here, a waveform is something where if you've got an audio and you want to make it look more interesting or more video, you can add this waveform and the waveform will react to the video. So it'll make it look like it's Every video something. you make should directly or indirectly generate revenue. I'm not saying it's easy. But see, now I did this. I changed the voice to this guy. And so I've got a different voice. I'm not saying it's easy, but video marketing accelerates the sales process and is often the fastest path to cash. So I haven't, I haven't narrated anything. I haven't created any video. All I've done is pulled the video from, from the library. I've changed the voice. I've added a uh, caption here. I've added what's called a waveform. Um, just Every to make it video a little, you little make bit sure more interesting. Directly or indirectly generate revenue. If I want to create a different scene or add um, something else where there's more video, be quiet, rock out. We're on the air here for God's sakes. I can go back to revenue here. I mean, I can go back to my library and add another scene and change it to this. I'm not saying it's easy, but video marketing accelerates the sales pro. Right, and this one, do I want Every captions? Every video you make. So that covered up my captions, so maybe I don't want to do that. Um, but again, I can always go back in and say, add my captions back. Um, I can even go into the captions and say what style I want, right? So I can do uh, live text or I can do, um, I can change the background color here if I want that to be different color. So you can see how with the script. I'm not saying it's easy, but video marketing accelerates the sales process and is often the fastest path to cash. Making revenue generating videos is one of the central themes and the overall goal of my new fast forward mastermind program. I so that's a little look at the script. I'm going to be sharing a lot more about this um, in my fast forward mastermind, which Vicky is a part of. I'll put the link here. And now I'm going to go take this off and put this back on and um, see if there are any questions about the script or chat GPT. But again, I think you can see that when you use these together and you get a little bit more familiar with them, uh, how much easier it can be to create videos. And that's kind of what we teach in, in Fast Forward is, you know, how can you make the best video in the shortest amount of time um, so that video becomes not a love-hate relationship, but a love-love relationship. So again, I use it as you can, as I showed you here, I use it for my podcast, but I can also use it to generate, um, I can also use it to generate things uh, from scratch like this, where I just dumped in some copy and then I had it um, do a voiceover. I'm not saying it's easy, but add video captions, marketing. add the waveform. Maybe I want to put the waveform back in there. You can add a progress bar to show how long the video accelerates the is sales here. process and is often the fastest. Um, I can go back to my waveforms and I can put that up here. You know, I can move everything around and really control where everything Path is. To cash. Making revenue generating videos is one of the central themes and the overall goal. Oh, now it's uh, twice. I don't know why. All of my new fast forward mastermind.
So um, ultimately, video marketing is about increasing revenue for you. And because I put my voice in here, now I didn't record this. This is the AI imitating my voice. Do a video podcast, make short form videos, go live on LinkedIn. What about Instagram Reels? So that's my AI voice could because it's a, I already recorded my voice and now AI is mimicking my voice so that I don't have to read it myself. I can have my um, artificial intelligence. Do a video read. podcast, make short form videos, go live on LinkedIn. Not too bad, right? Still sounds kind of sort of like me. So uh, that's the script, uh, a different way to edit, a new way to edit. Um, and stop sharing. And where did my program go? Oh, I'm going to add my slides here and see where we are on those. Um, I think we're almost done. Yeah. So one of the things we're doing in, in um, the Fast Forward Mastermind is every month we're going to have one day devoted to video sprints. And what I'll do is I'll get on Zoom like this and we can work on our videos together. And that way you can say if you have a question about Descript or if you have a question about ChatGPT or any video related thing, I'll be able to, um, you'll be able to access me, you know, basically on Zoom because I'll be on Zoom pretty much all day helping you get those videos done, helping you knock down any challenges that you may come across, answering any tech questions you may have. So I'll, you know, if you say, hey, I want to make a video with the script, then we'll kind of walk through that. And that'll be that video that you do. So video sprints are once a month, uh, basically like 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern, where I'll be online and on Zoom and able to assist you in making your videos. So I sort of call this a done with you video program. So the video sprints are a kind of a cool feature of the fast forward marketing mastermind at fastforward.com slash video. I also want to remind you, let me take this down because it's blocking it, that tomorrow, February 15th, is the last day to get in for, for the founder's rate of 50% off. So it's you can do $97 a month if you want. You can do four payments. You can pay all at once. It's totally up to you. But, uh, and again, let me go back to my screen here and go back to my Chrome tab. What are you barking at, Rocco? And go where do I want to go? Can't find it now. Oh, here we go. So basically, that's the fast forward program. Um, and I'll go down to the pricing here. It includes the small group mastermind, a 10-month, meaning one training course every month, video course. Uh, monthly video sprint days, coaching and Q and A sessions in addition to the sprint days, uh, a fast a form. There's only 23 hours left. Oh my gosh! And again, uh, all those goodies for 97 bucks a month if you prefer to pay monthly rather than annually or quarterly. And the classes that we'll be doing, the live trainings, every month we'll have a different subject. Like March, we'll be using ChatGPT for video. April will be video marketing strategies. May will be short form video. So there'll be trainings every month, Q&A calls every month, and video sprint days every month, among other things. So I hope you'll uh, dive in before the price goes up. Um, limiting it to 25 people so that the live sessions and the Q&As and all that don't get too out of hand. And I think it's going to be a blast. So uh, I hope you'll join me for that. And I'm going to go back here and find my screen. Oh, my gosh, what have I done? I've made too many screens. And to put up the link one more time, see if there are any questions. Go over my comments here. Hang on just a second. Oh, my gosh, comments. Um, I am paying for ChatGPT. Um, so the, the only difference is, and I, I just decided for 20 bucks a month, uh, you know, is if you don't have the paid version, sometimes it doesn't come up or if the system's overloaded, it says, you know, we're, we're too busy right now. If you have the paid version, you kind of get priority use so you can get on there pretty much any time. And, um, chat, uh, GPT, the paid version is $20 a month. And I just thought since I'm going to be using it so much, I might as well just do it and not worry about getting on there. Um, and 
Descript is, um, I pay annually, so it's 144 annually, but they do have a free version and there's a lot that you can do with just the free version. So check it out. Um, thank you, Vicki. Uh, love, hate to love, love. Um, and the, yeah, the Descript does a pretty good job mimicking my voice. So um, anyway, thank you so much for your comments and feedback. It does sound kind of like me, the chat, the uh, Descript software. So um, last but not least, I'll put the video uh, link up there. If you have any questions, reach out to me at VIP at LouBorton.com. And uh, if you want to go on this adventure of making videos simple, doing more and better video, using AI, using shortcuts, using cool software like Descript to edit your uh, content, then feel free to join me. I'm going to share this Descript screen one more time because, oops, I don't want to do that. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, here we go. Stop screen share. Start screen share. All right, here we go. Let me go over to Descript one more time. So, yeah, as I mentioned, um, it can mock your own voice like this. Do a video podcast. Make short form videos. Go live on LinkedIn. What about Instagram Reels? So I didn't record that. That just... I recorded my voice in here once, and now it knows my voice. Or I can have a female announcer do it. Ultimately, video marketing is about increasing revenue for your business. Or I can have a uh, authoritative voice of God. I'm not saying it's easy, but video marketing accelerates the sales process and is often the fastest path to cash. They so I'm pretty enamored with Descript because it has so many cool features, and uh, we'll be talking a lot more about that in the uh fast forward mastermind um the deadline for the early bird is tomorrow we don't really start all the classes and goodies until march the beginning of march so there's still time and i would say it'll probably if you participate fully it's probably about an hour a week so it's not a huge time suck maybe four hours a month um with the done for you video days you know if you decide to devote more than a few hours to it that's totally up to you but um, that's what it is. That's that. All right. I'm going to go see what kind of trouble Regina is getting into. And I'm going to come back on screen to say happy Valentine's Day. And I hope you'll join us in Fast Forward. It's going to be fun and cool. And you'll learn a lot and do a lot of video. So happy Valentine's Day. I want you to love video as much as I do because I want to make it easy, easy, easy for you to do. No matter where you are in the process, whether you're a beginner, a novice, or relatively experienced, there's always new stuff to learn like Descript and ChatGPT and how to use these tools so that um, you can be more creative and have more ideas and do things much faster and easier than before. Um, all right, I'm signing off for now. I'm going to go see what the pugs are up to. If you have any questions at all, um, feel free to reach out to me, vip at lubortone.com, and we'll see you online. Thanks, and bye for now.